Hey guys, how's everything going? This is Jaser. It's been a long time since my uh, last submission on Elite Code. So in this video, uh, allow me to solve another problem from Elite Code. It's 1658 minimal operations to reduce x to zero. Mm -hmm. You're given an integer array of nums and an integer x in one operation. We can either remove the leftmost or the rightmost element from the array nums and subtract its value from x. Note that this modifies the array of future operations, so it means shift and pop. Mm -hmm. Return the minimum number of operations to reduce x to exactly zero. If it's not possible, return negative one. Uh, so we have a number array like this. We're going to get a target of five. We actually could like a subtract 1 and then 1 but 2 3 is no 3 we stop we could 1 1 3 so this got us 5 right and this got us uh, this uh, this three, three steps but we actually could get 2 3 is two steps mm -hmm. a 4 uh, the first item is 5, first item is 9, so none of them are smaller or equal to 4, so it's impossible. 10, 3, 2, 5, uh, this is 22 big, and 1, 1, 3, 5, 5, 5, 10. So actually it's 5 elements. So the first idea that comes to my mind is the easiest way to do this with actually with recursion, right? So if we're targeting 5 with this array, we pop left, so actually we're good. The next sub problem will be targeting four with the rest element, and we can just uh, which we can just uh, do this recursively and finally get the minimum steps. So allow me to first try this with recursion. Uh, okay, we define a function called main up uh, function with a start index. An ending index and target. So for this uh, entry function, we could return the main up zero. Oh, I'm sorry. We should get uh, the nums AR array. We mean up nums zero nums dot length negative one x. So in this recursion function, what we do so. Um, we get to the left and get to the right, All right? We if you use used uh, with left one, it's gonna be another call of being up. So I would say with left would be uh, main up call ar start plus one. It means uh, the left element is used, right? Yes, yeah, start one and doesn't change target. It would be target subtract with track it with uh, a r uh, start. This is it, and uh, we could do the same with if the rightmost element is used with right and start doesn't change and post one target and n and what we need actually is we turn the minimum right with left and with right so when would it is n uh, of course when start equals to n there's still possibility so if start is bigger than n it's impossible the minimum is infinity right so we return infinity the other thing is target if target is zero, which means it's actually nothing to search more, no elements is needed anymore. We just return no more operations, right? Return zero. If target is smaller than zero, it's infinity. So, so or target is zero. It means there's no need to search more element or it's uh, it means the target is negative, it's impossible anymore, or there's no more elements, no more target, no more elements. Infinity, 
yeah, okay, this isn't a problem. So the result would be this. It's if it's infinity, we need to return a negative one. Infinity, negative one. If not, return result. Let's run the code. Mm -hmm. Ah, I'm sorry, there's no function here. Mm -hmm. We return zero. Mm -hmm. We've left. Ah, I'm sorry, I need a plus one. Great, I submit. This recursion obviously is gonna cause a TLE. TLE with recursion. So the time complexity will be a no submission, opening a run answer. Huh? There's some run answer. Wait a minute. Hmm. It's not right. Um. Uh, target is negative we return infinity if it's equals to it ah we should put this first let's try to calculate the uh, time complexity for this one so for any elements we if we choose left one we actually would calculate all the possibilities uh, with the start and end, right? So for if we choose the first one, stop at the first one, there actually won't, uh, this kind of possibilities for the right part, and plus two times x two plus da 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 plus n. Okay, zero plus n uh, times n, n times zero. So, what's this? I don't know. <laughs> this would, uh, I would say this is. Uh, um, I suppose this is smaller than n. So I think it's kind of uh, smaller than the the upper bound would be into this the uh, cube right and the n n so the smaller bound boundary and uh, the, the uh, upper lower boundary would be the square <laughs> I don't have the math ability to calculate the exact formula so let's stop here. It's actually a TLE. It's not okay. Let's try to improve it. To improve it, we need to dig more to the uh, examples to see what, what the fundamental problems are. So our goal is to uh, peel the array from left to right, like uh, to take each element once at a time, like one, one, two, three. But there, the 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 we took it one, uh, step by step, but actually the left parts, the left elements from the left and elements from right are continuous. So the the point actually would be uh, the problem became becomes uh, choose a s ending index for the left part and a starting index for the right part, right? So we choose the interval and uh, choose two coordinates and. It's, and it separates the array into three parts. It means it means we need to calculate uh, to choose the uh, I mean the minimum right, the shortest left part plus uh, the, the sum, uh, the count of left part and right part must be the minimum. So actually, we need to suppose like this: this is one, two, s two, well, i one interval. I two, I three. We need to choose I sum, I one, plus sum, I three, equals target, and the ninth I one plus ninth I three, 
the smallest, right? So for some i, there will, there will be n possibilities, but they are actually uh, not totally independent. We could uh, deduct the, the sum of i, like say, sum i actually equals sum i, I negative one, one plus one plus uh, nums i, right? And also the sum of this one, uh, the right part, would be the same. Like when we're doing this one, this formula, if you get the sum i1, we would need to find the sum i3. Rather than looping through all the sums, we actually could just cache all the possible uh, sum of i3 and just uh, access it with the set, right? Uh, this is a typical problem, but it's called, it's called two sum. Yeah, so the idea becomes clear now. Uh, we want, we cache sum from right with a map because we're only checking the existence and uh, we need to search for the uh, index so sum index uh, get sum from left check index from above map App for target subtract with sum update uh, the I mean the, the the distance between this i and j from left and right it must be the longest update the longest distance so this is it let's do it First, cached the sum. Okay, the steps are written here. Okay, we create a map like sum, right? A map because there are all non-negative numbers, uh, positive numbers. There will be no duplicate. Okay, let ten. Zero. Nums. Temp plus nums. Some right set temp the index, right? So now we had the map. So we need to calculate now get the sum from left. Here we get the index, possible index uh, would be uh, some right get target, which is the x subtracted with uh, the temp, right? If it is not undefined, exist. And we need to get uh, update the results. So the result would be okay. Let's get the result. The minimum will be so we can it in, set it to infinity. And the steps would be uh, the i actually is concluded, included, and the sum sum right the index is also included. Uh, so the sum the the, the Okay, let's calculate it. Steps equals um, 0, 1, i plus 1, plus nums dot length, if 1, subtracted with the uh, possible index, plus 1. Huh? Okay, so this is steps, and we updated the result.
uh, result equals math minimum results with the steps. And so that's this is it. And we could return the result. Let's try. <gasps> Not okay. Mm, we get the minimum. Okay, when we get one. We're searching for four. There's no four. So we get two. We search for two. Oh, for three. There is three. Hmm, so there's steps. Actually, is a problem. If I is zero and uh, possible index is nonsense. Uh, 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 huh. Index. I think there is no problem here. This one. Two, two, three. Mm -hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. Actually, there is a case that we don't need the left and right. So, right? We don't need it, or we don't need this one. We don't need the right. Uh huh. I see. So, actually, we need to set the. Uh, add the uh, boundaries, I would say, zero to this one, some right, and choose it to, um, yeah. If this is for five, we don't need it, and we'll, there, this is a, I we could also start with empty. So uh, if negative one and um, plus one zero, I could be start from zero negative one. Mm -hmm. I is smaller than zero than zero. If not, it's nums one. Nums I. Yeah. This should work. Huh? Ah, the map. Hmm. I think it should work. Infinity. Ah, shit. If infinity, infinity, negative one. If not, result. Ah, uh, the uh, the boundary is a little trickier. Trickier. There is a bug here. Ah, ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a, over, a case of overlapping, and I need to say if it is undefined, and the uh, possible index must be bigger than i. If not, if it is equal to it, then this i uh, index i number would be i number will be uh, used twice, right? Great, so it's accepted. Great, and I think we could improve this a little bit. Like uh, we could, because they are all positive numbers. If they are, the sum is already bigger than than the target. We could just uh, skip, right? Stop. So temp, uh huh. If temp is bigger than x, then we break. This is slightly faster. Hmm slightly faster cool so okay let's calculate the time and space complexity here uh space uh here is for the linear time this is a linear time this is constant time and here the map actually uh costs us the linear space so the time will be linear time space linear Great, so that's it. Actually, um, on the solution, there's another way of two pointers. Will be actually is better than our than my approach, but I think it's uh, trivial. 
it's uh, the idea is that rather than we can just uh, get the sum and uh, calculate the get the sum and get the uh, possible sum uh, uh, sum of the right searching for that we actually could do some subtraction because uh, the total sum doesn't change the I the start at uh, the end of the left part and start of right part actually we could calculate the middle part like here right rather than we're searching for the I1 plus I3 we could or search for uh, sum of I2 equals sum all subtract with the target so that becomes uh, a two cursor problem you loop through from left to right and uh, get get the uh, we could use hmm? wait a minute actually this also costs a linear space we need to get hold oh no 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 Ah uh, no 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 we don't need to because the, the the all positive numbers if it is bigger we could just uh we need to move the the left boundary to the right right if it is smaller we need to move to the right so we use two pointers this actually gives us the uh what is space is constant time a uh, constant space so could be better in could be uh, improved to a one with two cursor. Yeah, um, that's it. But the idea doesn't change that much for time. Anyway, uh, I I think you could try by yourself. Hmm. Okay. So that's it. The core idea is here, separated in two parts. Either searching the sum of the first one and the last one. Or you're searching for the sum of the middle one. Okay. That's all for this one. Hope it helps. See you next time. Bye-bye.